All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing our second review for The Walking Dead Dead City, this time for episode two. It is called Who's There? All right, dudes, an impossible spoiler warning for the second episode of Dead City, The Walking Dead Dead City. So, um, Dead City's off to a great start, I think. A third episode, I think, is uh, is out now. If you got AMC Plus, I uh, can watch it this uh, this weekend and everything. Getting caught up with the reviews after we had the uh, birth of uh, of my son uh, Tristan, our son uh, being uh, being born. So we were backed up for a little bit. Um, it's pretty much same time as Dead City uh, uh, premiered at uh, just went into labor and everything. So. Uh, yeah, so getting caught back up now with videos, uh, some Fear of the Walking Dead videos, Dead City videos, and um, we'll see for some other, maybe do some streams and stuff. But I'd like to do a live stream soon because it's been a little while since we've done one, and I absolutely love hanging out with you guys and doing some uh, some live streams. So Walking Dead Dead City, um, the first of the spinoff series for The Walking Dead, absolutely killing it, absolutely love it. I watched the second episode with Jess. She saw the intro and everything, and she's like, oh, this is this is freaking awesome. Really cool intro, everything. New York is so cool to see. Um, it feels super fresh compared to uh, the Walking Dead original series because the thing with the original Walking Dead series is they did so many episodes, so many years, 16 episode seasons and extended seasons and extended episodes, and it was awesome and everything. Don't get me wrong. Um, but, you know, it was really set in its, uh, its ways, uh, they changed the intro a little bit. They changed up in the last few seasons after Rick leaving and everything, and that was cool. Um, but, um, you know, you kind of want, at some point, something a little bit more novel, a little bit more uh, new and different, and Dead City is uh, is that. So uh, the Negan and Maggie uh, spinoff series, uh, really focusing down, I think, in episode two on both Negan and Maggie, getting to see how Negan handles situations completely different from the uh, leads that we're used to for Walking Dead. You know, if you're used to seeing Daryl or Rick or, or, or Maggie or others, they handle situations a certain way. In this episode, who's there? Uh, we see Negan just flat out murder a guy in front of others, uh, creating somewhat of a spectacle, maybe using it as like a, a way of taunting and trying to maybe scare them off or whatever. And it seems to have uh, worked uh, to a degree or you know something of the sort anyway so really cool knock knock who's there name of the episode who's there um we have the um the uh croat uh croatian i think is where, <laughs> where it comes from we get to find out a little bit about his backstory in episode two that he was with uh, the saviors earlier on and uh he was a bit of a, a mad dog so negan sort of cut him loose or or you know maybe he took a took a stab at him and somehow uh, a croat got away rabid dog um somewhat like a torturer something of the sort like this basically a bad dude and considering negan's situation now where he doesn't have the saviors he doesn't have this group uh episode three is called people are a resource so will negan uh teach maggie a few things and start to kind of build a, a new group here as a part of um you know their mission and what's going on um, we'll, we'll see what, uh, what happens in, uh, in episode three, but episode two is great. Uh, love to see the, uh, the knock, knock part. Really cool. The blood and everything all over the place. Bloodstorm. <laughs> uh, and Maggie sort of watches and it's definitely a, a cool dynamic between Negan and Maggie getting to see, you know, Maggie kind of watch Negan and see just how different he is from the people we're used to and how like with Dead City, you get to see just some totally, just like totally different, you know, in terms of, um, you know, clearly Negan is not a good guy, right? The, the You have the, um, the marshals that are still after him and everything. Uh, possibly one of the marshals joining with um, uh, Croat in this one. We do have uh, uh, Ginny as well. You say Ginny or Ginny um, as well, who is kind of in the episodes, but she's sort of like off. And she's actually kind of useful in a way because she's sort of like, uh, they say she's from Oceanside in this one, but they sort of like use her as a touch base back to the regular communities, um, which, uh, you know, I was thinking like maybe Lydia or someone like that could be good for that. But they didn't really bring anybody from the original series into this one, except for Negan and Maggie. Although Croat does feel like he's kind of from the original series as well, just that we didn't really get to see him earlier on with Simon and all the others and everything. So I thought it was a great follow-up episode. I like the helmets that they wear, uh, the Croat and the others, and they got like blades on them and stuff. Really cool. 
And um, yeah, I mean, just just a great follow up episode. It looks to me like the six episodes are going to be uh, really good and a great first season. Um, you know, awesome to see everything they're doing. Zombies falling down, really cool. Uh, New York and uh, awesome dynamic between Negan and Maggie, and then getting to see really that focus down on Negan, how he uh, deals with um, situations com being completely different from what we're kind of used to and uh, advantageous for, for Maggie in this, uh, in, in this way. Um, so I think that's most of what I want to say about the second episode, like the pigeon lady and the zip lines and everything is really cool. Just again, something very new. It's Walking Dead. You know it's still Walking Dead, but it's, it's something so new and different uh, that it's, uh, it's, it's refreshing. It, you know, it, it doesn't have that, you know, that plotting similar, you know, kind of thing that you're so used to. It's, it's, uh, even the vibe of it's different. The score is different. You have a lot of like quiet scenes in and around very movie-esque, uh, epic, and just, just, um, a, familiar enough, but original too. So that's it for this review for the second episode. We'll be back for episode three, uh, maybe later this weekend or next week. Um, let me know what you guys think about Dead City. Uh, leave comments below, thumb the video up below, subscribe at the bottom. Travis saying peace. Later guys. See you soon.